Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Tactics 5, Obsidian Brigade. And a big thank you to the developers for uh, listening to my lamentations, my, uh, my complaints, my whining, if you will. And they have given me the ability to change my control scheme. So now my navigation is inverted and I can do stuff like I'm used to. So essentially... Uh, the 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 battle plane or the battlefield, if you will, is at a like kind of a, an angle. So when you would press up before, it would move you toward the top right of your screen. So we have a cursor here, so it would move you in this direction. Unfortunately, and, and that's fine. Unfortunately, over the years of me playing several games like this, I have gotten used to me pressing up on my controller and it moving me into this direction. So essentially, when I press up, my thing goes this way, right? So, yeah, I, that was one of my complaints last time. Again, it's a personalized choice. It's what I'm used to. It probably only affects me and maybe a few other folks. Anyway, long story short, short story long, they went and they added this specifically for me and possibly other people will ask for it as well. But, yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. And we're going to hop in and we're going to check out the roster. Now, I think when we get to this screen, it's supposed to automatically default to being on a character, but it isn't so all you see here is up and down up and down up and down and you can't you're like oh well all i can check are items and clothes if you press right or left on here if you're using a controller it will start bringing up various different characters and at this point if you press your a button or your x button if you're on a playstation controller you will bring up this stuff we saw this just real briefly in the uh the last episode at the end there so yeah it brings up this and we can go and we can check equipment all sorts of stuff there's a whole bunch of stuff here i don't think we really have a lot of equipment or possibly even any equipment beyond what we already have equipped but you can always equip optimal and it will make sure that you have all the optimal equipment again i don't i don't know if there is any equipment for us to equip but i'm just going to do the the real quick and easy one here because i want to get back in and i want to do some murder death killing oh we have a rogue who hasn't oh i mind. sorry he probably has equipment i forgot it doesn't actually show the equipment until you go into equipped optimal so there we go um now here's a interesting one so we're gonna go back to our main guy a durham durin durin let's call him durin we are a fighter. I don't really understand a lot of the stuff yet, so I will very possibly make mistakes and, and come to wrong conclusions or draw wrong conclusions, if you will. So bear with me. I am still learning how to play and everything else. So this will be as you see me play. This is how we do things, basically. So, um, so we can change class. I did look through some of the menus, but I didn't really play around with any of the menus because I wanted to at least go, okay, what's really available? So... I, I still don't quite understand, but we'll figure it out. Alright, so, we are a fighter, we're level 4. Um, I'm I'm not sure, it's, see, it says requirements, and it says this on every single class. And I don't know if that's like a placeholder, or what that is exactly. But, it looks like you need to have 200 SP as a warrior, in order to unlock any of these other classes. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if like I try to switch classes if it'll screw something up. So you know what? Let, let's try it. Let's see what we got here. Let's try to switch to a defender. It'll remove bonuses and skills. We are now a defender. And we don't have 200 points as a warrior. Or maybe we got it earlier in time. I, I don't know. So this is the one thing I don't really quite understand. Just having looked through the menus. They don't really seem to change anything for me. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the weapon that I had before. I imagine we're going to be naked at this point. Yeah, pretty much. We're going to equip optimal. There we go. We're back uh, fully garbed again. All right, so we have some skill slots. Uh, let's see here. We have counterattack, which is passive. Throw rock is an active skill. These are all passives. Uh, weapon technique is a bonus skill. Attack, move, and use item as permanent. So those are our skill slots. Interesting. Now we can learn different skills, and we can learn different powers. I'm not entirely certain what the right course of action is going to be, because I really don't know. I don't know, again, I don't know what I'm doing yet, right? So we're going to figure it out as we go. So bear with me, guys and gals. All right, so let's see here. Uh, ground strike. Uh, strike the ground with a damaging wave of intensity requires a battle axe or a club. 
I think we're using a two-handed sword, so that wouldn't really help us. And this is ground wave, which looks like it's a wide a wave of wide intensity, and it's a cone, a range of five. This is a range of five. I guess, like, forward ground strike, and this is a cone out from us. Inspire. Okay, inspire nearby allies raising the attack chance. So I guess it increases our chance to hit. Attack up by 0.33. Is that a percentage, or just like a third of a point? Hmm. Intimidate. Intimidate nearby enemies, lowering their defenses. That seems interesting. Sweeping blow. Strike multiple adjacent targets with a or within a 180 degree arc with a two-handed sword or battle axe. Well, you guys know that I am absolutely in love with the battle axe, so I will probably end up moving toward that at some point. Huh. I think I'll probably go with a sweeping blow to start with, because I can use that with a sword and eventually a battle axe later on down the road. I have mastered that skill. It's going to cost me 15 PP to use, or power points, or however it's is. We used most of our SP. We only have 11 left. So learning powers, they're real expensive. I can't... Oh, wait. Sorry. That was a power. Learning skills. Um, Two-handed... Axe two-handed proficiency, we don't have, but we do have a one counter mastered. And then nothing else is really mastered. So, really we don't have anything right now that we can do, which is fine. All right, let's switch to the next person, Marcus. He is a defender. Let's learn some skills for our boy here. Uh, defense technique, defense combat techniques. I don't, I don't know what that means, but it's probably good. Remove movement reduction requires proficiency. He has this mastered, but he doesn't have the proficiency. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Allows the equipping of heavy armor at greatly reduced movement. Maybe we should get him that? I don't know what kind of equipment we have. We'll equip optimal. I don't know if anything's changed on him. I doubt it. It's fine. I'm sure I'm making mistakes, like I said, guys and gals. I don't know what I'm doing just yet. Archery technique, bro, bro, bow proficiency. Uh, basically allows us to equip a bow, projectile tracking, visualize projectile attacks. Interesting. Allows equipping a crossbows or cross O's. Oh no, they missed the they missed the B there. Whoopsie. It's fine. Um, powers charge shot. Range 1, 6 TU delay, but we can still aim it at people, so we have charge shot times 3. 6 TUs and delay 1 TU, delay 2 TU. Interesting. Double shot, we don't have enough SP for any of this stuff. Alright, so there's, well, let's, there's, there's not really much we can do here. So we don't need to do that. Um, I guess at this point, let's... Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I got, I got my bearings. We're going to go to the Diamond Heine, or Dimon Heine hideout. I, I got nothing. We're going. Let's whip out our sword and get ready to do some murder. Because that's how we roll. We roll deep with the murder. It is always good to have a wizard of some kind in your deployed party. I bet it is. kind of wish I had one. Oh. What is that large bear-like person? Okay. What's going on? It was a good tip, sir. And they've been taken care of. They have. Excellent. All thanks to you. How about our payment? Oh. Oh. I am not forgetting. Here you are. Thank you. He just walks off. Okay. For the mayor of this town to hire us. These are dire times indeed. Well, might as well try and find another customer. Oh, yeah? Look at this walking. Big old thick shoulder pads up under our, our little cloaks there. People all look very strange. Prologue, the Obsidian Brigade. It was a time of turmoil and suffering. Sorry. Sorry. 
Another pack of thieving dogs given justice. Thank you, Obsidian Brigade. Are you a frogman? What are you? You're truly a godsend. Godsend? I thought only schoolchildren clung to those stories. Schoolchildren and some others, to be sure. With the war on, I'm surprised the Church of what? Katamanus? Katamanus? Sure. Is the only source of education this side of Oria. How do you view the church these days, Durin? One, triple dot. Two, I believe. Three, I do not believe. I believe. I believe. Speaking of which, here comes a priest now. Is this the Obsidian Brigade? That we are. I have something to ask of you. There is an abandoned town east of here where some have sighted undead monsters. Necromancy is an abomination in the eyes of the church and illegal in the eyes of the law. Would you put an end to this atrocity as a favor to the church? Well, see, what happened was we were drinking our, our grog here. Now we're drinking mead. Honey mead specifically, just in case you were worried. And, you know, we were collaborating on what we should do next and thinking about it. And, you know what? We were looking for a job. So, yes, we're interested. What are you offering for payment? In payment, one of our healing arts instructors will join you on your journey. My name is Eshin. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And you would continue with us after stopping this necromancer. If you'd have me along. I can also teach you the magic of healing. Hmm. We shall see. You think that I, a simpleton, can be taught... Wait, wait a minute. I see what I just did there. That's fine. Alright. I like it so far. There is a hidden flying mountain. That, there's a what? Give, give it to me. Don't don't hide it. I want it. I want it now. Look, from all the times I spent, all the time that I've spent playing Battle Brothers, and begging the developers to put mounts into the game, I am looking forward to having a mount in this game, just because, just because I miss it so much and it doesn't exist in Battle Brothers. Also, it just sounds really amazing. All right, so we can have another fighter. <laughs> Might need another fighter. Uh, I'm going to go double ranged into rogue? Yeah, double ranged into rogue. Uh, something something like that. I've reached my unit cap. Son of a... That's fine. It's okay. Uh, let's, let's go. Let's go into battle. Greater healing powers are delayed, but heal more than regular instant healing powers. Makes sense. Try not to die. Get healed. Got it. Oh, this looks disturbing. Do as you're told, old man. You don't want to taste our daggers. They have a nasty bite. Like a snake, because they're poisoned. Yes, but you have to leave something up to the victim's imagination. So if you just say it, it doesn't have the same effect. Sorry, Remus. I'll remember next time. Hey, we said not to use our names. Why do you think we're using these masks? Sorry, Thatch. I'm sorry. Uh, look, can I help you boys with something? Yes, by giving us all your money. I don't see the. I don't see a staff. You mustn't be a practicing wizard. Hand over your money, old man. I'm sorry. I seem to have forgotten what you were selling. I have a poison dagger I could sell. This guy's really on the nose, isn't he? Forget it. Just rough him up and take what he has. Surprise! Didn't expect the cavalry on foot, which would make us infantry. We're here. Sir, you seem to have dropped your staff behind you. Oh, nope, that's just a really large put- No, no, it's fine. Oh, thank you. You're too kind. Sir, are these men bothering you? 
Oh, I think they are just traveling salesmen selling stupidity. Say it. Pardon me, I, I seem to have forgotten what you were selling. We aren't. We're robbing you. Maybe, maybe don't say that when you're in front of a bunch of other people. You know what? It's, it's, it's probably fine. Remus, I thought we weren't supposed to say it like that. Uh, it doesn't have the same effect, right? Uh, just stab them all. I'm sick of this. Yeah, subterfuge is not your thing, friend. Bum -ba -dum -ba. Amateur thugs protect the wizard. Yeah, let's do this. It'd be great. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I actually have to play too. Man, I was getting into the music and the and the the feel, like the mode, you know. All right. Oh, I love it so much. It's so nice. Oh, thank you so much, developer. I love you. I love you so much. All right, archery technique. Let's charge a shot and shoot at somebody, shall we? Um. Uh, eh. What about you? They're all just rogues. Yeah, whatever. Uh, delay one. Do I have some indication as to when his turn is? Like, from this screen? Or I guess I don't have from any screen, really. Alright, that's, that's fine. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Did they also do that? I gotta undo the movement. Sorry. Nope, they, they, okay. Okay, that's fine. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. There was some stuff that I said, and I was just wondering what was changed, what wasn't changed. It's all good. Charging it up, and... oh. Confirm. Oh, it's so good. All right, sorry. I'm good. It's my first time actually getting to play it since the changes, Gazigal. So forgive me. Imbued effect. What does that mean? Seems. Oh wait, there, there's a zoom feature. Oh god. How do I do that again? Forgive me while I, I play around with. Uh... <gasps> there it is. Ooh, look at it. Nice. I kind of like being zoomed in a little bit. Maybe we'll go one out one. A little bit better of a view. This angle is actually a little bit difficult to to cope with, but that's okay. All right, we're going to move up. We got a big old two-handed sword. I'm going to throw a ride. I don't I can't do anything right now. So that's fine. We're going to end our turn. All right, next up, we have Frithwee. Should change Frithwee's name if I can. Is he, is he just wear, is he wearing like a loincloth and like an amulet and that's it? Dude, have some self-respect, man. Put on some, what does this do? Imbue stuck, imbue stuck into your next attack. That's an odd phrasing. Plus stuck one for 12 TU. It's an odd choice of wording, but I guess I get it. Imbue your weapon with an effect for one turn. I mean, it makes sense. Like, like I, I get it. You didn't even do anything, dude. You're a wizard. What are you doing? Uh, nobody got hurt yet. So, what does meditate do? Oh, gives me PP. I like. Well, I, I think I should phrase that differently. I will take some power points. Yeah. Oh, I feel meditated. You gonna imbue too? Yep. You gotta, you gotta stick that in. What are you doing? Oh, you're drinking a power potion, potion, power point potion, power, triple P. The triple P series is back, guys and gals. Confirmed. What? I got nothing. Ah, oh, dude, you're in just like the worst positions. Yeah, get over there. I hit, I hit my ally, don't I? Dang. Alright, um... Here. Look at me. I'm over here. Haha! -ha. He didn't turn toward me, dang it. Yeah, you done got got, buddy. Oh. Oh. Oh, I thought he lit him on fire somehow. I was like, what's happening? I was so confused for about two seconds, and then my confusion went away. Do we have any, like, horrible bad... Did, sorry, did that say healing without an eye? That's fine. Um, 
Guess I can meditate again. And my turn will be able to move quicker. When we need that heal. Dude just spent a lot of time running around doing stuff and he didn't really accomplish it. Now this dude's power pointing up. Come on, man. You guys aren't accomplishing a lot. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not really accomplishing anything either. I am so worried that I'm going to do something terrible to myself here. Uh, sure. Wait. I have to imbue again, don't I? Nah. This wizard just gets to move all day long. What was that? What did he do? Could one of my other guys move? That, like, actually attacks? So I would like that. Please? Oh, they get to move. Oh, he... Oh, he blocked it! What? In your face. Hey, Robert. Cool, buddy. Um... So, need to move. I would like to attack you. It still does garbage damage. That's a side attack. Uh. Ha! Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm going to go put myself into harm's way, ladies and gentlemen. I do not recommend this. But I'm going to enjoy it. Get swept. Really, we missed the guy with the one HP? Seriously? You better get up there and defend me. Good. I left my... I left my back specifically where I put it. Just so I didn't have to... You know what? I'm... I'm again, I'm fine. I'm just gonna wait it out. I conjure flames to... Str I'm very concerned that you're gonna hit me. To strike my enemies. Why would you do that, man? In what world was that okay? You literally just lit your ally on fire, dude. Come on, use your brain. Here. Enjoy my weird cloud smoke thing. Yeah. You're welcome. Like, what? He He's like crippled. He's gonna heal, isn't he? Son of a... I can't believe we missed. I mean, yes, I can. What am I talking about? My name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and RNG hates me. See? See? We just failed our counterattack. Like, like, what's even happening right now? Now, this dude done messed up because his back is to me, and he's going to really regret this. And by really regret this, I mean literally nothing's going to happen, and everything is fine. So, you know, that. Oh, RNG, please don't light anybody else on fire this time, maybe? Uh-huh. Yep. Guess I might as well charge my shot up. Cause... No reasons. Ow, I'm poisoned. I don't like that. Well, I guess I'll waddle on over here. Uh, sweep and blow. Let's go and get this done. I missed both of them this time. Didn't I have like a 70 or 83% chance to hit? Is there a reason I'm missing? How do you expect to get through this? Well, because we're blind apparently. And we don't seem to be able to hit people with skills and abilities. Oh god. Dude. telling you right now you need to calm yourself down buddy oh my god am, am I reading something wrong here like there I hit somebody finally my god man oh we're paralyzed that's so much worse than being poisoned well in some ways what just happened oh please don't like light more of my people on fire please Uh-huh. All are healed. Well, really just him, but still. 38, it's not bad. Cool. 
Well, Robert, you're about the only guy who's actually doing anything, so kudos to you and a shout out to you, buddy. I appreciate you. I don't know if anybody else appreciates. Whoa, where did that end up going? I don't know if anybody else appreciates you, but I certainly appreciate you. I have like 0% chance to accomplish anything that way. Why are you so hard to hit? I have no more. <sighs> Alright. New plan. Move here. There it is. 13 points of damage. You might not be doing a tremendous amount of damage yourself each and every single time, friend, but you know what? You're hitting people, and that's more than most of our guys are doing. 74% chance. Do we... I'm still not going to kill him. Oh, I thought we missed. I was so upset for about two seconds. I was like, seriously, we missed again? He punched him. He literally punched him for two damage. I don't even get his weapon out. Oh, God. Hey, you know what? They're not near us. Could you maybe not light us on fire this time? Hey! <laughs> it's funny how that works. Yes, please hit him. He... Oh. Okay. I guess our turn got skipped because we were paralyzed. I'm assuming that's what that meant. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, 13, 15. Rear attack. What? Don't even need to move. I'm in a perfect position. Uh, you kind of need to move, though. Um, can I attack? Oh, I can attack diagonally. Yeah, rear attack. 29 points of damage if I land it. What, what's wrong? What, why can't I do this? Oh, is it not? I'm not able to... Oops, am I not able to attack that? Oh, no, I'm not. Boo, I thought I was able to attack. Sorry, I'm, I'm apparently thinking of a different game. My apologies. Alright, so... There's really nothing I can do right now. Yeah, let's come over here and chill then, I guess. Um, I can throw a rocket at this guy and do one point of damage. You know, I'll throw a rocket at his friend. Ow! Who keeps throwing rocks at me? I missed him. Of course I did. Ask me if I'm shocked. The answer is no. No, I'm not. Please don't light me on fire again. Oh, you meditated. Nice. Good for you. 20 points of damage. Hey, our boy is able to finally do something. Please don't light us on fire. Please do not light us on fire. For the love of God and all things holy and right in the world. Ooh, backstab damage. 35. That was actually pretty significant. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Priest is gonna get up here and get some action. Look, little, 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 little priest. 17 points of damage. He going he might, he's gonna miss, isn't he? He's gonna miss. We're gonna try to kill him. Oh, he didn't miss. Oh, what? Get handled. All right, what's next? You're gonna light us on fire. Admit it. Just, just admit it now. You're gonna light us on fire. You're gonna somehow hit the guy right in front of you. And we're gonna be super incredibly sad and we're gonna be on fire and then we're gonna be very unhappy. Please don't light us on fire again. I, I've had literally enough being lit on fire. I'm also going to try to maybe kill him. 27 points of damage, or we can do a sweeping blow if we had the... Alright, I guess I, I kind of narrows it down. Don't miss! <laughs> oh, RNG. We could use someone of your skills. That's not you. Will you join our cause? Uh, that I shall. Yeah, and by skills we mean the ability to roast marshmallows and light your allies on fire, friend. You were so useful and instrumental into us taking damage. You hit, what, two guys with spells and, and two or three of us with spells? I think it was two. I think it was about a 50-50 split. All right, bronze dagger, resurrection potion, and a health potion. I'm down with that. Okay, 162 gold, 30 experience, 41 SP. I like it. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Well, there we go. We survived it. I was kind of concerned, but yeah, the healing magic does come in handy. Like, really, 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 really large amount. Be sure to purchase items at the shop. 
Is that a not so subtle hint? I feel like that's a not so subtle hint. It's okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for... Ooh, there's actually a shop here this time. Sweet. That's going to do it for this episode, and it's probably going to be about another week or so before I hop in and play again. So feel free to let me know your thoughts as you have already, and uh, stick around the channel to see more content like this and tons of other stuff. Tactics 5. Pretty fun game so far. I like it. I love the fact that they've also changed the uh, ability to move around to, to meet my needs, and that's, that's just cool, so... Shout out to the developers. Thank you guys for letting me get my hands on it and letting me showcase it to the world. And until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>